Well, when it comes to gaming and your downloadable content that you pay extra for, it seems the, the dev behind Escape from Tarkov has taken this to a whole new level. Canceling a previous order and now raising the price for a new one and then paywalling a mode, essentially creating a DLC that they say is not. A DLC. Well, I got a lot to show on this one, and before I get fully into the video, subscribe to the channel. There is tons going on behind this one, especially when these greedy little devs decide to, uh, you know, change the rules, and no one is having it. Directly from the Escape from Tarkov Twitter, on the 25th, PvE mode is unique feature which is available only for the owners of the Unheard Edition. We will keep you updated on the features exclusive for Edge of Darkness owners. EOD is what that stands for. And of course, there is a community no cheer. Uh, new game modes are generally accepted as DLCs if you put it behind a paywall. Battle State sold Edge of Darkness with the promise that you would receive free access to subsequent DLCs. And in this circumstance, this is a warn to note. And today, today, the 27th, they've put up another situation here. Battlestate Games putting an update on the current situation and they've posted it to Reddit. Hello again. Let me clarify the situation in a little more detail regarding owners of the Edge of Darkness version and access to the competitive mode and other issues. First of all, PvE game mode is not a DLC. Really? Really? What, what does HP Tech say a DLC is? What is a DLC or downloadable content refers to additional content gamers download for video games after their initial release. This content may include new levels, characters, weapons, or skins. And in this case, it's a whole new level of way of playing the game. DLC in our understanding is the majority, major additions to the game, including various functionality and content that is released after the official release of the game as themed DLC pack. Um, secondly, this specifically functions as a PvE mode is necessarily located entirely on a separate network infrastructure because essentially you play on our servers only in closed mode. At this stage, it's not possible for not to launch all players who are Edge of Darkness holders. Right now, we simply do not have the required amount of resources for this. Well... Now that you mention that, isn't it very interesting that they are now walking things back? Escape from Tarkov Edge of Darkness owners will get the $250 mode free at launch <laughs> after days of community backlash. So let's rewind this just a little bit. There is a, a new battle pass that's being posted out there. This is the old battle pass that was there. And on their high-end Edge of Darkness limited edition, you are granted free access to Escape from Tarkov Arena. But one of the things here is free access to all DLCs as a season pass. So something coming down. And the new version of this is now a 250 edition with exclusive PvE mode. And this cannot be tolerated from IGN. Ben, $250. They took away the 151 and made it $250 with including this extra form of DLC of the arena or the edge of darkness pve mode it's absolutely ridiculous battle state insists the new mode is not a dlc and that is what they're saying here but now we've got multiple reports saying they are now including it for free after days of backlash, developers Escape from Tarkov have finally offered to give the new PvE mode to owners of Edge of Darkness Edition that included a, a season pass and for all future DLC. However, this won't get access to Tarkov's hits 1.0. Earlier this week, the new Unheard Edition was revealed and criticized due to offering bonuses that many thought were pay to win. However, the much bigger issue is the launch of a player versus environment mode that allows players to play against uh, only against AI with no real players in the lobby. This mode was made available on purpose uh, available to those that purchased the new $250 edition despite anyone who purchased the old Edge of Darkness edition being promised access to all future DLCs. First off, 
I'm an old school uh, Unreal Tournament player, absolutely old school. And one of the things in Unreal Tournament was free play against AI bots in it. So you can actually warm up. The fact that they're saying that you, if you want to play against the AI, you have to pay $250 is absolutely ridiculous in the first place. And this, the fact that this was something that was $150 originally that was supposed to be free access to all DLCs and then they paywall this thing, this against the bots, it's absolutely downright despicable and just dirty, absolutely dirty to do things like this. Posting on Reddit, the director Nikita Bavanov announced that all owners of the Edge of Darkness edition will get access to the PvE mode, but only when Tarkov leaves beta and launches into the 1.0 state. There is currently no word on exactly what will happen, but the team has previously said they were targeting this year for a full launch. And that's a lot of things that are currently working on will be added at launch. We observed your dissatisfaction and have decided that the functionality of the PVE mode will be available free to all owners of the Edge of Darkness. Honestly, you shouldn't have to pay. This shouldn't be even behind a paywall for a AI mode. It's absolutely ridiculous to even think about that. Uh, he also explained that the PvE mode still requires you to connect to their, one of their online servers. They currently do not have infrastructure to roll out to all Edge of Darkness owners who make up a significant part of the player base. If Edge of Darkness owners want to play the PvE mode now, they can upgrade to the new Unheard Edition at a 50% discount, which should make the upgrade $50 instead of the initial $100. Anyone already upgrading? To, oh my god. So you have the... Edge of Darkness at 150. Now they're offering it with a, a, a little bit of a discount, but then they upped the price. So ultimately, did they really do anything here other than create a controversy? It's absolutely ridiculous to, to read these things. It's also announced that the team plans to offer a microtransaction for any Tarkov owner who unlocks the PVE mode, meaning those with the standard edition would be able to buy access without shelling out hundreds of unheard for the unheard edition. If Edge of Darkness uh, edition owners wish to do this before launch instead of upgrading the unheard edition they will get a 70 percent discount on the mode everything here just sounds absolutely despicable pve mode game mode this is not a dlc said above enough dlc is our understanding of major additions to the game including various functionality and content that are released after the official release of the game as a themed DLC pack. No, this is a DLC. This is 100% a DLC. This is an additional addition to a game. And to boot all of this off from the 25th also, have a nice 20 minute adventure on the blatant pleasurous game in and out from Battlestate Games, uh, Arena Breakout Infinite, which is seeming to be a clone of Escape from Tarkov, uh, the style of ex extraction shooter looter, uh, taking in all homeless shooter looter with a big wave goodbye to Tarkov today. We are here, welcome you at Kenoma. If this video gets 5,000 retweets, 10,000 or more test slots will be added to our servers. Don't tell the boss, escape from blank, welcome to Kenoma. So this is someone this is another style of game that's out there trying to capitalize on this absolute disgusting, disgusting take that Battlestate Games had with Escape from Tarkov. And of course, it gets community noted again against the devs for Escape for Tarkov. Video games cannot be sued for plagiarism for simply being the a same or similar category or genre. BSG would need to prove that assets were taken from EFT and used directly in, uh, in AB to begin legal claims of copyright infringement or plagiarism. <laughs> Get owned. Get owned. Apparently, the, this was costing some people about $100 extra just to be able to download this tweet because that, that's what Battlesea Games thinks of their gamer base for Escape for Tarkov. Anyway, I've been your proud Canadian Phoenix, Cinder Shadow. I'm signing off here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you again very soon.